been done in boys' school. Hence, it is a clear to us that girls are facing discrimination in terms of our investment. And so it's a call to government and to the people involved in distributing resources, also the head of those schools, uh, board of management, uh, to ensure that even those girls' schools get enough resources so that our girls can perform better. If you look at, a, at this country, we are projecting that 60% of our jobs are coming to in the STEM careers. But of course, we have seen that girls continue, continuously perform very poorly in those STEM courses. Hence, in future, it is impossible then to have girls getting to those uh, STEM courses. We must make a deliberate decision as a country to put investment to where our children are and children belong. We have boys and we have girls. So for us as a commission, our work is to really uh, ensure this compliance and to promote equality and inclusion. And we are going to issue an advisory based on these statistics to the relevant ministries and, and state departments to ensure that they take uh, the necessary action. For religious organizations, we are saying we provide an ethics-based education. Uh, and um, for the systemic issues that you are bringing up, um, as NCCK, we are looking at it and seeing how best then we can bring in the value-based education that we desire to, to have. We'll be working, of course, with the relevant partners. Our role is advocacy as NCCK, and so the voice will amplify and see that everyone, every child, gets a certificate coming from this way forward. Seem to be deep-seated. They in, in, emanate from the norms we have. That is why you see, for example, the girls' schools, you see they clean more, they, 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 they do better in terms of uh, ch uh, sponsorship by the church, where the church stresses on more morality, education, and that is good. But then you see now they, they get less of the STEM-related facilities. And that shows that the, the beliefs we have as society are being entrenched in our school systems. So we would like to also see, and I'm glad we have seen that some policies are going to be reviewed, and one of the things we'd like to see in the policy review is let us not just go for gender sensitive, gender responsive. Let us try to be transformational in the statements we put in our policies. Because this is the only way we can address some of these norm issues that continue to inflict society. Um, uh, but we are happy. I think as a country we are in the right direction talking about.